Good. It's running or not? Yes. Hi. Today we will review this uh, wonderful flower box for balcony hanging use from Les Chusa. Les Chusa, yeah. Um, it has an, uh, it's a plastic in, um, in a gray rattan look. You can have it also in, uh, in a straight look, in different colors, brown, beige, white. But we choose this because it fits good to our building. We have a big white building with gray elements. So, it has an, uh, a sub irrigation system, means, uh, you just have to fill up the water level, you keep the water level with the gouge here, and then the flower always have enough water. So it's all in plastic, but we are use of it. You can uh, have also different, um, different uh, kind of bags. You have also round bags, um, square one for the balcony just to put it on the floor indoor outdoor in different colors so you can have a lot of this it's a really good system um, included in the box is a gouge and a granulate uh, made of volcanic uh, stones they um, work like a sponge who transfer the water from the down of the of the box to the the pot ground you have to fill in later so additional this is now just to put it somewhere additional to this box you can get some special device to hang it that is this one that is specially made for the uh, for to, to, to put it on the on the fancy on the the garden of the balcony. It is a very nice system. Uh, you one part it gets good on this, and one part you fix it on the balcony. It's fancy, and then you just can stick it in and take it out. We will see that later. First, we will open it. It's a strap like this, and then, oops, we have to get the whole bunch out. This is the inlay, that is also very practical because when it's hanging later on the balcony, you just, and you have to go do something on the flower. Uh, maybe you want to change uh, from flower or you want to arrange it, you just can take off these handles and you can take the whole flowers out. And here is then just the box where the water is in. There's also an overflow. This overflow is, is factory closed. Uh, we will remove it first because I guess it is for the indoor and for the outdoor, you can open it. So you are sure that if it's when it's raining, that the water level never, never goes over the maximum so that the, because then the ground will get too wet and the flowers can die. So that is the box. Um, we will continue now. I will prepare immediately these straps. That is done so that we can we can uh, finish the technical part of it. And in the second part, we will come then to the to the planting of the flowers. So in this box, it contains two of these holders. manual and very important two screws so the manual we don't need I, I tried already that is the whole device you can adjust it if you um, you guide enough of your of your balcony or your fancy is too too far away you can adjust it so that the box is always straight and parallel to the to your to your Balcony is fancy. So here you can take this off. You have two parts. That is very important. You will take that off. This we need later. And that is the, that the two parts connected to the box 
to the screws. By turning the box around, you see there are two screws inlets and two gaps to put this. You can also put it like that, but it's not really stable. I guess when then the storm will come, it will drop down. That's why it's very important to screw it. It's very easy, you just need a screwdriver, a cross screwdriver. You're putting one screw there, one screw there, and then you screw it. And then your box is ready to use already. So it looks like that. No? And when this is done hanging on the fancy, you just can easily snap it in like that. No? And out again. And it's really at the end there's a little there's a little break, so you have to really to, to, to pull it hard there's I guess there's no, no wind or no storm who will remove it. So, then we will continue. I will still have a little bit technical part of it. You see here is the box. It's full of holes. And you have, very important, you have these three, these three uh, inlets. That is, they are connected to the water and there is the granulate later in. Here is the corner, you will see that now, that is for the gouge. So, first we will install the gouge. We have then this nice box here. There's all in you need. This is the enlargement pipe for the gouge. And this is the main parts of the gouge. The floating, um, a glass with the marks, maximum and minimum, a cover and a holder. And finally you have this small back of this granulate, which is made of, um, 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 yeah, I, I, it looks like a um, volcanic stone. And volcanic stones, we know it is like a sponge. It absorbs the water and transfer it then to the upper layer of pot ground, also normal flower ground we have. So, first we will do the gouge. It's a lot of plastic that is ah, not so nice, but it is. <laughs> yes, again booklets, how to use, you can also have an, a watering can from this brand, <laughs> they're selling everything, and that is just in many languages, all language, multi-language manual, here is a safety and fast instruction, we have, then the, we have the small one here, there's one tray inlet, and when you have the bigger one, you have two inlet trays. That is the Balconera 50 and that other is the 80. The 80 is the biggest one. But um, ah, it is for big balconies it's used. So ah, that is just a description. Here the script also what I told you before. If you use it outdoor, remove the, 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 the cover for the water overflow. Because inside you can control it by watering, by the gouge, but outside when it's raining and you are not there, it can get easily too, the level can get easily too high and maybe your plants getting uh, over watering and they will die there, especially if you go to a vacation or something like that. Here's then some suggestion, you can hang it also on the wall. We have square one, we have the, the long one, we have also round pots, small, high, large, round, like a ball, and a different kind, and they are all the same system with the watering, with this granulate and with this coach, it's very nice, because 
an overwatering or less watering. Well, less watering is always possible if you don't care. There's no water. Yeah. Then, but the overwatering is normally not possible. So we will install now the gouge. This is the enlargement pipe with the red gouge indicator. We remove that. So and then you have this. This is the bottom, the floater, the cover, adapter piece for the show glass. We put the show glass here on this part. And then the floater, I have to get this wet indicator. You stick it on like this. And then you're putting the enlargement pipe of this lower part. You just have to fill. And then you just easily put in the floater with the indicator into the pipe. And then finally you put the top with the show glass on this. You see when I turn it now, the indicator comes up down. That means later when you make the water, it goes up and down. This is the cover that comes later then. It means, I take this out so you can see it. You just put it in and then you stick it in and then you cover it with the corner. So that's all. You see the, the gouge goes down to the bottom and when you put it in now, normally you turn it to your side so that your box is right above you. You have then the box with the gouge, everything fine. We will see later when you're watering it that it will go up. I will not water it now, it's just messy inside. You can remove this and you can fill the water in here. That is just the cover. So you don't need to water the ground. That is the wrong way. Uh, you're just watering it into this hole. It goes immediately into the into the lower part of the, the outside bag, and then because of the granulate, the uh, water goes automatically up so much it's needed. That's why we, we put now this this granulate. Just put it in. All one bag is always made for one one box. When you take the 80, think it was a little bit more. If you replace the flowers or you replace the ground, yeah, uh, you have to buy the. You can buy it separately, um, or you just remove remove it just to the, the layer of this granulate as you put new ground, pound, um, ground pot in. So we will divide it now. Important is that these three, these three uh, holes are covered because they are in the water so that you have a nice <coughs> covered layer of granulate. And don't mix it later with the pot ground. Just put the pot ground on and don't touch it anymore. So that is then, that looks like this. You see, everything is nice layered. And here, this, all <coughs> these holes here, they are completely filled up because they, those, those holes are into the water and bring the water up to this layer. From this layer on, the pot ground will take the water then and watering the plants. <coughs> that is the way it works. So now we are always done with the preparation. Later we will see how to fix this on your fancy. It's a very easy system. It's a visual brake system and a barrel system. And then we will see how to plant. See you soon. Thank you for watching. So now we will show you how to fix this uh, the support for the pots, the balcony pots. 
on the fancy. Oh, There's a red labeled lock. You lift it, and then you can pull out the strap. Then you just have to put it around and put back the strap. You have two holes. If you have a big uh, guardian, you can use this. You can use this. You can also screw it, but it's not made for that. So then you will put the strap again under the lock. This. and then you have to adjust it you hang it and you have to pull the strap very hard and you close the lock so that's it now you can adjust here this, this feet because sometimes you have That's why normally you don't feel have to fill the water in before it's hanging, okay? Uh, you have to put the strap. The water always to, to always last. Okay? You know? It's too heavy with water. system you can remove it and then you can uh, normally set you need to you can put different stuff in you can put in uh, how you call this dig and stuff like that that is the expensive version, you can also use a normal one. Here you can see, you can put different uh, tools to this handle. It's nice. It's some gardener. I think everybody knows it. That is a nice device for home planting. Thanks for watching. We will continue now with the planting. <laughs>